Sagittarius, thank you for joining me once again. And for those of you new to my channel, thank you for joining us. This is your first half of September Romance Angels reading. And um, I've gone ahead and pre-shuffled guys and laid out your cards. Um, general as always, it's not going to resonate with everyone. If you are interested in a personal private reading, please access that information down below this video. So let's go ahead and get started, Sagittarius. For the majority of your cards here, they are all wonderful for this first half of September. So very happy about that. We are starting off your reading with the attraction card. So I'm feeling for Sagittarius at this time, I'm feeling for some of you guys, you've entered into a new connection with someone, a new relationship. I'm feeling um, brand new energy here. So I don't think it's a relationship you've had for that long. I'm feeling anywhere from one to three months, perhaps. Okay. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And I really do feel that there is such an intense attraction between you and this individual that you're connecting with Sagittarius. Okay. And I really feel your happiness coming through here. Yeah. It's an actual very good feeling that's coming through this card. What is crossing you, however, is give your relationship a chance, okay? So the attraction is very strong, no doubt, and you guys are really in a good place, I'm feeling. Um, what's crossing you with this give your relationship a chance is that part of the um, experiences that you've experienced in past relationships is kind of, for some of you, still following you around. So it's almost like you take the experiences you've had from relationships that ended up not working out, and so it's kind of brought forth a little bit of um, negativity towards how you interact with people in your present position, okay? Relationships that you're currently in. So because you've been hurt previously, it, you're kind of treading lightly is what I'm feeling with this current relationship that you're in. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? It's good to take your time and really get to know this individual since it is fairly new, I'm feeling. But because it's new, you know, sometimes it's easy to walk away from a new connection the moment you feel like it's not working out. But that's not the message that I'm receiving from the angels here. They want you to give this relationship a chance to grow and mature because there's so much more that needs to be discovered with this connection. The basis of the situation, guys, is playfulness. So I really do feel that you really exude this lighthearted energy with each other. I really do feel that you enjoy each other's company. You don't even have to go out and do anything. You're just happy spending time with this individual, even if you just stay home and watch TV. That's the type of energy I'm feeling here, that you guys just love to make each other laugh and tell each other jokes, and it's very lighthearted, um, a very lighthearted connection. You, you're very playful with each other is what I'm feeling here, like two kids that are just enjoying each other's company, all right? And for some of you guys, I am feeling that you guys are young, perhaps um, teenagers or early 20s is what I'm feeling here for some, for some of you. But um, others that this is resonating with, it doesn't matter what your age is, whoever it is you're connecting with at this time, and you've got this intense attraction towards this individual and it's a fairly new relationship, I do feel this playful, fun energy between this connection. Okay, now, moving in the immediate past, we do have love yourself first, Sagittarius. So this goes back to um, past relationships that you were in where you got burned and you got hurt. And um, I, I am feeling for some of you guys that there was third party energy that, that's coming through here that, um, that was something that you had to endure 
in the past. For some of you guys, I'm feeling that despite that third party, you decided to stay with that individual and just work on the connection once again in order to rebuild what you had with that person because I'm feeling that despite that third party element that came into your relationship that the attraction between you guys is so strong that you decided to really work through it. So that's a separate message coming through here aside from those of you who are, who are in a new connection. However, for the majority of my Sagittarius, um, love yourself first, okay? That's something that I'm feeling for some of you guys you have a tough time doing, okay? And that you tend to put yourself last on the priority list. This card is affirming that you actually did the work to put yourself first. And that's something that you needed to work on because it's just, it didn't come naturally for you. I'm feeling that you, you tend to want to take care of others and you tend to forget about yourself sometimes, okay? Because you're so lovable and you're a nurturing individual and you tend to really forget to love yourself and take care, your, take care of yourself first. But since it falls into the immediate past, I'm feeling for some of you that this is coming through for, you did the work necessary in order to do that. And that makes you more loving moving forward in how you connect with other people, not just necessarily romantic individuals, but in all areas of your life, all those that you interact with. And they pick up off of that love that you have given yourself, and therefore you're able to give it more freely to others as well in all your relationships, your family, friends, and of course, towards a romantic partner. Now, moving forward into the present position, guys, we've got express your love, okay? So the angels are wanting you to express your love and to go ahead and make that romantic gesture. This is falling in the present position, guys, so it's picking up off of this relationship that you're in currently. Now, I did mention early on that it's for some of you guys who are in a new relationship, but I'm also now picking up energy off of those of you who've been in a more committed relationship. And I am feeling that things are going to shift in that connection, taking things to a more permanent, higher level of commitment, I'm feeling through this card. Um, and I do feel a proposal coming through here. I feel it, okay, for some of you guys. So hold on to that thought because I really feel some of you guys have been thinking about it and um, you weren't sure if that was ever gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Someone's gonna express their love and ask you to marry them. And or Sagittarius, this could be you thinking of doing this, okay? So interesting storyline coming through here guys because the future position let your friends help you and if you look at the photo in this card it it's a wedding okay it's a bride and um it looks like her bridesmaids are helping her to get ready for her wedding let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so for those of you that this is resonating with you may very well be asking some of your girlfriends to be a bridesmaid, maid of honor. And for the guys that are watching this at this time, you may very well be asking your groomsman or your best man to be a part of your wedding. And it's interesting, guys, because the power of this whole reading is the engagement card. Engagement. Someone's going to get engaged, possibly this first half of September. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. If it doesn't happen during this time frame, I still feel, based off of this Express Your Love card, guys, that I've got some Sagittarians who are either going to propose or get proposed to. I'm really feeling that, guys. Now, how others see you. Let go of control issues, Sagittarius. Just allow things to happen naturally. Allow life to happen naturally. You can't rush things from happening, okay? And if we're talking about a potential proposal and engagement here, it's gonna happen when it's meant to happen, okay? So just have faith in your connection because the bottom card, guys, that you have from that this deck is chemistry, 
I'm feeling really good chemistry from this connection here. And I pulled a clarifier for the let go of control issues card, guys. And I ended up getting the four of emotion card, which in the traditional tarot deck is the four of cups. This card states there are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity as long as you act upon your dreams. So for whoever needed to hear this message, I really feel that it's almost like a light bulb just went off in your head and it's like an aha moment, okay? And you're surrounded by friends and family who are absolutely supportive of you. So take advantage of those connections because not everyone is fortunate enough to have those connections. So yeah, open your eyes to the opportunities that are coming for you, especially in your romantic life. That's also a separate message coming through here for others, especially my singles. Okay, now your hopes and fears, Sagittarius, romantic feelings. So I'm feeling for some of you guys that the person that you're connecting with, you're almost afraid of this overwhelming feeling of love that you have for them. It's almost like it's too good to be true. Okay, um, but believe me, it's mutual. The the strong magnetic attraction that you guys share, the chemistry, the attraction, it's mutual, it's there, okay? You don't have to doubt that. It's absolutely there. So even though it falls into your hopes and fears, there's really nothing for you to fear because it is mutual. The love is there and it's reciprocated all around, absolutely. For my singles who have yet to make this connection, it's coming for you. Okay, you're going to meet someone that you will have an intense connection with, lots of chemistry, and look at the card that falls below that. Okay, this could be the one. Sorry for my crappy lighting, guys, apologize. But yeah, for my singles who have yet to make that connection, just hang in there because uh, they're coming for you. Okay, and the outcome, guys, is stay optimistic about your love life okay positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so you know all relationships have challenges at one time or another so i'm not saying that this connection is perfect in any way but i do feel really good energies from it i do feel that it's you guys have this intense attraction that cannot be denied Okay, and the angels are truly affirming that you should work on this partnership because it's absolutely worth fighting for. You guys have that playful energy. You took the time to do the work on yourself. Some of you guys are headed for a proposal and a marriage, an engagement that's coming through here. You just need to let life happen when it's meant to happen. Let go of those control issues absolutely no need to doubt the romantic connection you guys have okay stay positive and have faith that this romantic connection will be a good one long term okay i feel for you guys whoever this is coming through for that once you make this connection and once you take it to a more committed level it's gonna stay that way for the rest of your life i'm feeling so that's wonderful so let's go ahead and pull some healing messages sagittarius let's see what additional messages the angels have for you guys for this first half of september so angels please bring forth your healing messages for sagittarius at this time Okay, Sag, let's see what we've got. Healing messages, please, angels, for Sagittarius. Healing messages. There we are. Okay. We have emerging. Okay. So those of you who really took the time to work on yourselves in the past, 
to love yourself first, okay? And I'm feeling for those of you that have yet to make that romantic connection, I really do feel that continue to work on yourself, okay? And for those of you this is coming through for, you know what areas of your life you need to work on. But this card is coming through to let you know that you will be emerging as the best version of yourself ever. You just need to give it time. And the angels are totally there for you. So turn to them in your hour of struggles and challenges. Um, but I really feel triumph here and that you're going to emerge and surprise everyone by this new version of yourself that you're going to introduce to everyone when it's time. And the bottom card, guys, is children. So I do feel, for those of you especially um, who have a proposal and an engagement coming through here, I do feel that children are in your future. And I do feel, perhaps for some of you guys, that with blended families, that you are going to be sharing children in your life, okay? And uh, I really feel that your life is blessed with these children. If they haven't come yet, they will. Yep. And some of you guys may very well be expecting at this time. So congratulations for those of you that that is resonating with. So let's go ahead and close out your reading, Sagittarius, with an angel answer. So please clear your mind. Focus on one particular question that you need answered at this time by the angels. And let's see what message, what answer do they have for you? So angels, please bring forth your answers for Sagittarius. But yeah, guys, very nice reading overall. Really great cards this first half of September. All right, so here we go, guys. Clear your mind. Let's see what answers the angels have for you. Angels, please bring forward your answer for Sagittarius at this time. Okay. Wow, look guys. Choose a new direction. This is an answer coming through for those of you contemplating a change, a shift in perhaps your romantic life, perhaps your career, um, and you've been on the fence in regard to what to do. If it's in connection to a romantic um, individual, someone you've got feelings for, a new person that you've met perhaps, thinking of taking things a little further, well, the angels are really asking you to change direction because um, there's someone better for you. And if it's in relation to career, the angels are asking you to really reconsider because there's something really coming for you that's way better than what you've envisioned for yourself. And interestingly enough, guys, the bottom card is there's something better. Plain and simple, there's something better for you. So really do your research, really pray on it, really think about it before you make a move, okay? If it's in relation to your romantic life or any other area of your life that you really needed an answer to. For those of you that are receiving this answer, you'll know exactly what it's talking about. But um, they're very cut and dry, guys. Choose a new direction because there is something better. Something better. So I'm feeling that these messages, these answers coming through are completely a different scenario from those of you that are about to receive this proposal, okay? You're on the path that you're meant to be on. Uh, the choose a new direction message that came through, I'm feeling that's for a different group of you guys. Um, interestingly enough, the card below, there's something better, is romance. Romance. I do feel that this is going to be very prominent for some of my Sagittarians this first half of September. All right. So what a beautiful card to come through for you guys. So there you go. Those are my messages for you guys this first half of the month, September 1st through the 15th. I hope that you guys enjoy this, whoever this came through for. I really hope that it resonated with you and brought you so much joy and clarity. Um, it's a great reading. Um, so much love coming for you with this connection. I really do feel that some of you guys are going to get proposed to if 
if not, you're definitely the one that's going to be proposing Sagittarius, I'm feeling. Um, yeah, this engagement card is the power of the situation. So I, I really hear wedding bells for some of you guys. So that's fantastic. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys the second half of September. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, please check the information down below and I'd love to schedule one for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.